Hey guys, so we're going to be checking out something by Z Frank today. This is one of his regular videos. Last time we saw some animal awards, but this time we're going to check out true facts about the cuttlefish. This was requested by Arco. Um, I don't know what else to say about it. I like the cuttlefish. The cuttlefish has a fun name. Let's see what else is true about the cuttlefish. Let's go. True facts. Here are true facts about the cuttlefish. The cuttle The cuttlefish, yes. Fish is not a fish. No. It is a mollusk of the class Cephalopoda. Mm -hmm. The cuttlefish is a bit like a clam that millions of years ago came out of its shell and never went back. In fact, it still has a specialized shell, but on its inside, which is used for buoyancy and huh. is called the cuttlebone. People for a long time have used this shell to carve casts for metal jewelry. These people are called cuttleboners by me. <laughs> and now by you. Yes. To move through the ocean, the cuttlefish has a wavy, wavy fin that surrounds its mantle. It also has a siphon, a muscular tube it can squirt water out of for fast propulsion. Imagine trying to move by vomiting out of a giant straw and flapping your skirt around very, very fast. Mm. That is how a cuttlefish do. The cuttlefish brain is larger than its entire body, including its brain. What? Which may not make sense, but it does to the cuttlefish, because it has a very large brain. Okay. The cuttlefish has a very advanced eye, roughly in the shape of Charlie Brown's mouth when he misses a football. <laughs> or perhaps a W that someone wrote when they were drunk. Or the letter Q that someone wrote when they were really drunk. <laughs> Despite its big brain and weird eyes, the cuttlefish is colorblind, which is curious because it is a color magician of the deep. Like a lactose intolerant cheesemaker, the cuttlefish is unaware of its own gifts. With the help of millions of color changey things in its skin, it can change color and texture almost instantaneously. Playing hide and seek with a cuttlefish sucks. They don't move, <laughs> they just change color. You can hear them breathing while you count. How the cuttlefish determines the backgrounds it blends into is largely a mystery, because it can do it in complete darkness. Huh. Which is kind of a dumb gift if you ask me, <laughs> but still amazing. Ah, fish! <laughs> then there's the flamboyant cuttlefish, which doesn't try to blend in with sh it just says, why doesn't the world try to blend in with me? You That is so just ridiculously cool to watch that pattern just change on the back. That is ridiculous. Go, little man. Don't go yes. changing for nobody. nobody. When it is threatened, the cuttlefish will often release ink from its ink sack. The cuttlefish releases that ink in one of two ways. One is a little perfing sort of squirt. Something you might say, excuse me, after. The <laughs> second is a release of both ink and mucus. Lovely. More of a throw your underwear out and go home early sort of inking. <laughs> These are called pseudomorphs and are designed to be decoys for the cuttlefish as it escapes. Mm. The cuttlefish feeds by extending two hidden feeding tentacles, which it uses to snag prey and pull it back towards its poison beak. What? Well, apparently it has a beak. Very slowly it extends. <laughs> the fish just had to move like two inches. <laughs> Cuttlefish mating begins when the male delicately grabs the female by the face and inserts another specialized tentacle into an opening near her mouth, <laughs> which I hope is not her nose, and inserts sperm sacs. Males have four pairs of arms and females have three. Okay. Weaker males often disguise themselves as females by hiding two of their arms. This reminds me of what I may or may not have done in the mirror as a young boy. These cleverly disguised what? males Wait. swim right past the company. Wait, no, just, oh, no, I didn't, I, that is just too much information in the first five minutes of the conversation, okay? Titian and do the face sex thing. After the female eggs are fertilized, she gingerly and lovingly puts her eggs in some random friggin' hole on the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> the eggs are called sea grapes by people who like shitty wine, and they are guarded <laughs> by the couple until they hatch into the cutest little freaks in the universe. Yes. These little babies are not so good at the camouflage, but they do the best that they can. Cover yourself up, little man and sleep tight.
Remember, if you ever want to come out of your shell and let your freak flag fly, the cuttlefish has your back. Yes. Or front. I don't know. I can't tell with them what, what's front and what's back. I don't the even point think is, they know. Don't let the tentacle parts wrap around your head. Or if it happens, <laughs> plug your nose. Because your nose might get pregnant. Finn. Oh, I really did just did that. Anyhow, um, so those were true facts about the cuttlefish. Yes, I like the little one. The little one, the little one makes me happy in my soul. Look at this little guy. These little babies yes. are not so good at the camouflage, but they do Watch. the best that they can. Yes. Cover yourself up, little man, Bloof. and sleep tight. Bloof. Remember. I love it. I absolutely love it. It looks, it looks like a miniature tick that floats. And for some reason, it's cute. Ticks aren't cute. The cuttlefish is. Any case, that was Z Frank's true facts about the cuttlefish. I hope you guys feel enlightened and educated like I am right now. I feel unrelentingly educated at this point about the state of the cuttlefish. Um, if you would like to learn more about the cuttlefish, please visit the cuttlefish's website at www.cuttlefish.com. In any case, I don't think that's a real web address. I am an idiot. Disregard everything that I say. I'm going to be putting all of Z Frank's uh, links down in the description down below. So go check him out. Um, if you would like to support the channel here, putting a like and subscribe on the video is, well, it's perfectly great. Um, if you'd like to support the channel through other means, I have a Patreon down below as well as PayPal. And um, jump in the Discord. Request more videos about cuttlefish or other strange animals that you'd like to see me check out. Um, when I was a kid, my favorite animal was the cheetah, like because it was fast. And then I real when I got older, I realized that cheetahs don't even cheetah that well. They're just I mean, some cheetahs have to have therapy dogs. That's sad. That makes me sad. And they're inbred to the nth degree because there's so few of them left in the world. That makes me very sad. And they sound like a pigeon. And that's not a joke. In any case, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'm going to be trying to check out some short videos today and seeing what all we have in the Request for Reactions channels, like mostly the other reactions, but we'll see what we can get done. I'll catch you guys on the next one, and I hope you guys are having a great Saturday.